Hello everyone, it's Lindsay and today I'm here with a new release from Open Journey. We haven't had a new kit in a little while. Uh, Open Journey, I have been on their team and have been promoting Ingrid's products for a couple years now and she brings something so different and so unique to the Bible journaling world. So she does not do monthly devotional kits per se. Uh, she releases I would say more like quarterly and they're just structured different and the artwork is gorgeous. A lot of the companies I work with, they either have internal like illustrators, a lot of it's like digital designs um, or they you know, contract out and purchase illustrations and things like that. But Ingrid is, has gone to school and has had formal art training. And so all of the artwork you see in her kits is hers. It's her own, you know, charcoals, watercolors, acrylics, mixed media. Um, it's all comes from her hand that she then digitizes and turns into these kits. And it's just absolutely stunning. And so definitely check out her uh, Etsy shop if you haven't already. Uh, in addition to her kits, she has, you know, fine art prints and little extra tidbits and and, um, printables and stickers. I mean, they're past, um, here's a few of her older um, vinyl stickers and things with her custom artwork, and it's just gorgeous. And so this month, or this release is no different. We have two new kits. Uh, Seeds of Hope was the main kit, and then it just kind of kept growing and growing and growing and expanding. And so she went ahead and broke it up into Seeds of Hope, which is the main kit. And then Fruit of the Spirit is a um, is meant to go along with Seeds of Hope, so it's a little bit smaller of a kit, but it could be a standalone kit on its own. So you will see that price uh, difference because this is a much heftier kit than Fruit of the Spirit. Now, in addition to the physical kits, uh, Open Journey does also offer digital kits as well. So if you'd rather do that than a physical kit, if you purchase a physical kit, she will email you a coupon code to get the digital kit 50% off. So if you're wanting to have, you know, an abundance of all of her artwork so that you can print those elements again and again, um, you can get the digital version for 50% off when you buy the physical kit. So lots of variety, lots of options. She also has some standalone printables um, that you can purchase as well. They, they're they just gorgeous. You have to go check it out if you've not checked out her shop already. Um, so let's start with some of the extra goodies that are in the shop. So she's got some new vinyl stickers. I love sticking these on my water bottles when I go to the gym. I just feel like it's my way of like I don't know, putting a little Jesus into people's life when I'm out and about um, in my day-to-day -day life. And so she's got four new vinyl stickers in the shop. She's got, but God first, uh, God of, um, pray this, may the God of hope fill you with joy and peace as you trust in him, Romans 15, 13, in this little ticket. Uh, these, I believe the illustrations were created by her daughter. I think this one, um, spread joy like seeds, and then it was turned into a sticker. So that's got a special little uh, story behind it. And then let your joy and hope spread good news. I believe that was from her daughter as well. So really beautiful vinyl stickers. Now these are vinyl, so that means that they are weatherproof. So if you want to put them on a water bottle, I wouldn't soak your water bottle in the sink. Um, but as far as, you know, washing it and that kind of thing, I've, um, had no problem with these coming apart or anything like that. So she's got four new stickers. She also has this fun new acrylic embellishment. So you could use this as a keychain. You could attach it to a planner or a binder, a bookmark. Um, you know, maybe you want to use it as a Bible bookmarker, but it has that spread joy like seeds, um, illustration that her daughter created and it's an acrylic piece and then it has some fun beads on there. So there is that in the shop as well. And then she has some add-on tickets. So um, these pair nicely with the two kits that she just released. And uh, I will try to have color swatches over on my corresponding blog post. And uh, she uses a lot of the uh, similar colors throughout her artwork. Just sometimes it's more of a certain color than another. And so that's what kind of gives the kits a different Different look, um, but her colors are pretty consistent. So you could pick these tickets up and mix and match them with past kits if you wanted to, but these are really nice quality prints. Um, Ingrid actually used to work in a print shop, and so she still works with that print shop to print her devotionals and things, and it's just phenomenal quality. It has a slightly glossy finish, but it's super nice and thick and durable. They are just plain white on the back. Um, it looks like it comes with six, nine, 12 different tickets. And again, this is all of her own design and artwork. So they have all of these fun like fabric texture. It's not actually like raised texture, but printed texture on there and just these fun mixed media. So you could use these to journal out a prayer, journal out a verse, um, use it as a journaling spot in your journaling. 
that's a lot of journaling. <laughs> you could hole punch these and make a little tag ring if you wanted to. So just, just a fun little element that you can add into your journaling projects that you are already doing. So that is a standalone set of um, Bible journaling tickets that are in the shop. But let's dive into the amazing kit. I am so excited about these. I've already gone ahead and looked at the devotional content. Um, like I mentioned in a recent video of mine, I am really taking a critical look at the um, devotional content that I promote to you guys. I want to make sure that it has good theology, that it's coming from a good place. And these two kits get my stamp of approval. I looked through both of them. Um, they no giant red flags that would, you know, I would notice if you guys see something, please message me. Um, I'm understanding that we all come from different backgrounds, different denominations, things like that. Um, I'm a little bit more conservative. I have a traditional Baptist background. And so that is what I'm looking at it from in case you're curious about that. So let's start with Seeds of Hope. And I mean, just from the packaging down to the content, down to the art, you guys, it's just an experience when you order one of these kits from Open Journey. So they come in these little uh, fabric pockets, so you can store all your goodies in there, but you could also repurpose this and reuse this as, you know, part of your journaling. So you could actually adhere that into your Bible and create a little pocket in your Bible or something like that. So it's just, it's just beautiful. Okay, so let's start with the devotional content. And I... Oh, it couldn't be any more timely. It's perfect. And she's been writing this for months and months and months, and it, it's just perfect timing. And so she started out talking about um, different seeds of hope and kind of the overall theme is this idea of the Holy Spirit. Um, you know, you plant these seeds of the fruits of the Holy Spirit, love, joy, peace, kindness, um, and that kind of thing, and how those grow and how we need to foster and grow those in our heart. Um, and so that's kind of the theme that we look at as we go through the beginning part of the devotional. Uh, and she's also um, addressing like seeds of hope as far as like God winks, little seeds um, that we see throughout our day-to-day -day life that we see that you know, little evidence of God. And, and then she ends it exactly where I, it's just been what I have been drilling home constantly over the last few weeks, but pointing it to Jesus and how um, he is just the ultimate focus of any of this. And so she ends it here. It says, but just like a plant that cannot live without the sun, S-U-N, we need our sun, S-O-N, the son of man. We need his light. We will not be able to grow anything of true worth without it. Nothing of worth will grow without him. In him, all things hold together, Colossians 1, 16 through 18. So it, she just drives it home right at the end is exactly what I was like, come on, give it to me <laughs> as far as that goes with Jesus. And, and you know, things are kind of crazy in the world right now. And that's been... My platform going forward is going to be all about pointing others to Jesus. And Ingrid definitely does that with her devotional content. Uh, and as you go through, you'll see it's structured a little bit differently. Sometimes we've had like little cards like this, little pamphlets. She's got it cut down into this really adorable little booklet this month, and it is just jam-packed. So uh, I imagine that this will probably take us over a month to work through the devotional content in here because there's just so much scripture. Everywhere that you see bold font is, are verse references. And one thing I really love about Ingrid's devotional style and how she writes is that she interweaves scripture into her own um thoughts and the things that she's talking about. And it's always just pointing back to um, Bible verses and passages in the Bible. And it's really just woven throughout her devotional content. So I, that's really important to me. I think, you know, we all have opinions, we all have emotions, we all have ideas, um, but they all needed to be rooted and founded on scripture. And she definitely has that as we work through this devotional content. So it is several pages. Um, it's not broken into like specific days or specific sections or anything like that. There's no real um, prompt sections, prompt questions. I know that's something that some of us are a little bit familiar with as we work through Bible journaling kits is they really kind of handhold and guide you into what to journal, what to think, what to respond to. Um, this one is a little bit more open-ended. So you can kind of just work through it at your own speed. Maybe there's a, a particular verse that really stands out to you and you want to dive in and kind of study it a little bit more, maybe do some word, you know, word study and things like that, and then respond to it in that way, um, or respond to the devotional content on one of those verses that she's mentioned. So it's very open-ended on how you work through this. Uh, also a great kit if you're not a Bible journaler, if the idea of creating in your Bible scares you, you're not okay with that, this is a good kit for you because you could very easily just work through the devotional content. It may be a separate journal or a notebook or something like that. Um, 
there isn't space necessarily within this booklet itself to work in, um, but that's okay. And I'm okay with that because there's so much fun product in here that I would encourage you to take it into a separate notebook um, to go alongside with this one. So you've got several verses. She's got some fun interactive things in here. She's got... Um, she says, all right, friend, where is that hope though? Hope, hope. I want some, I need some, where do I find it? My answer will probably deflate your sale for a minute, but new wind is coming around. That hope is in your pocket. Reach in your back pocket, LOL. No, it's not there, it's in you. Here's a seed outline. Feel free to put your finger in paint, ink, stamp pad, or dirt and make an imprint in this outline seed. How cute is that? Isn't it crazy the mark you just made with a body part you just controlled was made by God? It's a unique mark that no one else has. You are one of a kind seed of hope. You are fearfully and wonderful ma wonderfully made, Psalm 139, 13, 15. So she's just got these really fun, creative things kind of woven throughout the devotional, like this little seed activity. Um, and it's, of course, got all of her beautiful artwork throughout. Um, again, and you will get this in um, the digitals. If you purchase the digitals, uh, you get a lot of this artwork in that digital format. And again, just tons of verses. Uh, this is another really neat thing. And I love that she did this. And this is something I really make a point of in the kits that I review um, is I love when you have a devotional kit that isn't just meant for us, you know, working on our own heart and our own journey, but encouraging us to take it outside of our Bible, take it outside of our house and engage with other people. And so she's got this section here. She says this kit comes along with a few blank postcards. So she's got this cracked cardstock postcard and then a white blank postcard. And so she encourages you um, to write the word of God in encouragement or holy reminders for others. Um, and then she's got scripture that you and I may be mutually encouraged by each other's faith, Romans 1.12. So she's encouraging you to take this, take the product in the kit, make a little postcard, jot down a verse of encouragement to a friend, stick it in the mail and mail it to them. I think that is amazing because what are we, what are we here for? We're here to share Jesus with others. So what better way to do that than with, you know, beautiful products like Ingrid's here. So she's got that in there. Again, you're going to see tons and tons and tons of Bible verses in here. And then a whole nother list of Bible verses at the end. Um, she encourages you to uh, use scripture to pray either praying for yourself, praying for things that you're concerned about, praying for others using scripture as guidance, which I think is awesome. You can't go wrong if you're praying for somebody, if you're using scripture as the foundation of your prayer. Um, and so she kind of has that woven through here as well. So, so much packed into this little kit. And you can kind of now understand why it needed to spill over into a second kit as well. So there is the Seeds of Hope devotional. Now let's take a look at everything that comes in the physical kit to kind of help you journal your way through. Um, this little folder piece just kind of holds everything together but you very easily could cut this apart and use this as well. Uh, you've got your little note card, a little uh, love note from Ingrid, just kind of explaining the kit and the heart behind it. Of course, your you know places where you can find her on social media, the hashtags for this kit. Um, the backside here is going to give you a rundown of everything that comes in the kit. And she explains it in so much detail. I mean, she just puts her heart behind every single piece that she puts in here. It has a purpose. Um, she talks about uh, a heart shape a piece of paper in here. And I mentioned this on my Instagram stories. She's a little heart-shaped handmade paper that contains wildflower seeds. Keep, give, or plant. It will grow flowers. And she even explains what flowers are in that paper. I mean, she's just, she's awesome, guys. <laughs> so there's that little card. And then here are a variety of uh, white stickers, clear stickers, and cardstock pieces that you can cut apart to embellish with. And just as you're looking at this artwork, keep in mind, this is all created with Ingrid's hand. She paints all of this, scans it in, and turns it into her artwork. So all of these baskets of seeds and fruits and vegetables and things, that is her artwork, and it's just absolutely stunning. So I think that this is sticker paper, and so you would just need to fussy cut out these images to use those. You've got lots of seed images throughout here. Now, I know... Um, the fruit of the spirit are probably verses that we have journaled quite a bit. So you might have those filled up in your Bible already. I encourage you to pull out like a mixed media journal. I have one that I'm going to be using. Um, maybe I'll throw this kit in there as well. One of these Canson mixed media journals, and it is seven by 10. It's got mixed media paper, coil bound, so you can stuff it full of stuff. Um, it gives you enough space that you can do some artwork and then has room to journal. So that is an idea for you. Um, if you filled up spaces in your Bible as far as journaling goes. So here's some clear stickers that you can fussy cut out with those fun, bright florals, some of her hand letters, um, big titles, and 
things like that. So really you don't need a whole lot of extra in addition to these kits when you're creating. These are a great kit to travel with because um, you would just need a pen. You don't even need paints and that kind of thing because she's got um, art marks and stuff that you can use on your page. All these beautiful birds and florals. And because it's always Ingrid's art. She doesn't, you know, contract out for her artwork. So you can very easily mix and match her kits and the art style is going to be the same. So you're going to see, you know, her style of florals, her style, style of, you know, um, lettering and things like that are consistent throughout her kit. So you can mix and match. So again, just a whole bunch of phrases. This is clear sticker paper. And she does a mix of like a typed font and then her hand lettered font. Holy Spirit Vision. I will plant this, grow, plant, come, Holy Spirit, seeds of hope. So just lots of phrases that go along with that content. And then you've got your two uh, cards. I think it would be so fun to just do a really awesome page. This is thick, like thick, like cereal box uh, kind of material almost. And so you could do a really fun mixed media background and you know, use your stamps and your die cuts and things like that and really create a fun dimensional piece. If you're gonna add a whole bunch of embellishment, I would tuck this in an envelope. I wouldn't just send it like a postcard because you wouldn't want it to fall apart in the mail. But um, so that's what comes in the little booklet there, but this all comes along with the kit as well. So we've got a full uh, four by six stamp set this month. You've got Seeds of Hope, Save, Pray, Note, this little ticket fun little floral bunch. I love her seals. Her stuff makes me get so messy with mixed media style. So these are all great like texture elements when you're creating backgrounds and things like that. Uh, seeds of hope, plant, do, uh, seed. So lots of just different phrases and words and things from the kit. And then you've got this amazingness. So she started doing this a couple years ago and I was head over peels over it. I love this idea of taking vellum. She folds it and sews it and makes a little pocket out of vellum to hold all the die cuts. So even if you've used up all your die cuts, this would be a great idea for your own storage um, is to create little pockets like this standing up in a basket to store all of your die cuts. Very simple way to um, organize your supplies. So this is chock full of die cut pieces. Again, if you get the digital um, version, you get all of this in digitals that you can print out on whatever mediums that you want. Lots and lots of goodies. And so then you can repurpose that little pocket if you wanted to and create a little prayer pocket. Um, but she's got some really beautiful Polaroid images um, in this kit. These are so fun. Look how pretty these are. I'm always like hesitant to journal with these and want to just frame them and put them up in my office because her stuff is just gorgeous. There's just so much texture and detail. Um, these are just plain white on the back, so you could use them as journaling spots if you wanted to. How pretty. I think like clothespins on a line hanging in your office would be super cute. And um, this kit does come with some of those tickets. So you do have the standalone option, but there are some tickets included. And then there are some blank Polaroid frames. So maybe you want to frame the scripture, or maybe you want to, you know, take these and do some photo journaling and things like that. So there are some uh, Polaroid frames in there as well. And then she included some tags. These are really fun. They have like a metal um, rim to them, just plain white tags. And some more tickets. I have mine upside down. These are again, just plain white on the back. And they're that really nice thick paper. Uh, here is that heart. So this heart was created with paper that has seeds in it so that you can plant this and grow flowers. How awesome is that? I just, I love that. And then of course, tons of flowers and seeds since we are talking about blooming and growing and seeds and things like that. These flowers are just amazing. And she uses charcoal, she uses ink, she uses watercolors, she uses acrylics. Uh, she dabbles in a little bit of everything. I love her mix of black and white and color. So you could color these in if you wanted to, but I love to kind of mix them and have, that way it's not overwhelming with color <laughs> to kind of break it up with the black and white. She even has these fun uh, seed pods so not just your traditional, like what you would, you know, picture as a seed. She's got a variety of seeds in there. So lots and lots of embellishment. And again, if you purchase the physical kit, you do get a coupon code to get the digitals at 50% off if you need um, additional pieces to print out and journal with. But I mean, 
I have a big box of Ingrid's uh, kits and I just dig through there and mix and match and use a variety of them when I go to create. So there's a look at everything that comes in Seeds of Faith. So let me try to get these out of the way here without losing any pieces. Okay, not Seeds of Faith, Seeds of Hope. Seeds of Hope, there are Seeds of Hope. It will be linked down below for you guys. And let's look at Fruit of the Spirit. So Fruit of the Spirit was meant to be included with this one, but then it just got to be so much that it's its own standalone mini kit. So similar in that it comes in a little fabric pocket, has a um, devotional, and you'll see the devotional is actually this little folder here. And so what she's done is she's taken, um, you know, Galatians 5.22. Many of us are very familiar with this, the fruits of the spirit. Um, she kind of talks about it, sets it up, and then she breaks it apart. And we look at each individual word. I actually spoke at a women's retreat a few years ago um, on this passage and went into like every ver uh, every word, but I'm super excited to go through this again and look at the scripture that um, Ingrid has pulled. There is so much scripture. So rather than being real devotional content per se, because there's a little bit of devotional on the front here, um, it's mostly Bible verses. So you'll see here, she's got love. She breaks it down to the original language, Greek, tells you what the word is. Um, and then she gives you a main verse, Ephesians 3, 16 through 19, and then gives you a couple more verses pointing to love, defining love. What is the biblical definition of love? Um, we're so quick to throw in our opinions on definitions or what we think or our interpretation, but here she's using scripture to define it, which I think is awesome. So again, joy, peace, patience, kindness. So you're gonna go through each one of those fruits of the spirit with a key verse and then um, some extra verses to kind of point towards um, that word there. So she's gonna go all the way through um, all the fruits of the spirit, which is awesome. So again, if you've already journaled Galatians 5.22, I think that there's enough content, enough Bible verses in here that you could do a little mini book even um, just on this study. Okay, so you've got your card kind of explaining to you what the kit is and, you know, it's meant to go along with Seeds of Hope. Again, your hashtags and all that goodness where you can find her. Uh, she even has, um, she says that, uh, the seed of some fruit illustrations are printed on clear adhesive paper, just cut and paste in your journal or Bible. The illustrations are as follows. So she has specific fruits to pair with each um, fruit of the spirit. So love is a pomegranate, joy is a sunflower, peace is an olive. And so then you can kind of use that imagery there. So there's your little card explaining the kit. You have this beautiful art print card. So you could use this as a journaling card. You could cut it down if you wanted to. Uh, I usually hold on to these and frame them. I have Ingrid's art all over my office, but it has the fruits of the spirit written in over this print here. You've got goodness, gentleness, faithfulness, patience, self-control. Um, on that card there. And then you've got lots of stickers. So again, some of those watercolored images, this one here, these are more like tippins. So they are just cardstock. They are sized to fit into a journaling Bible margin, um, but you could also fussy cut these out as well. This one here has James 121, humbly accept the word planted in you, which can save you. You've got some room to journal there. And then it's just plain white on the back. Lots more, um, titles and phrases in clear sticker paper, um, some more of her artwork in clear sticker paper. So you can just fussy cut these out. Like I said, you really don't need much. I always kind of go crazy when I work with her kids just because it gives me an excuse to get messy with paint. Um, but you could just stick a title down, stick some of these art starts down, do your journaling and be done. So here are the fruits that she talked about being matched up with those different fruits of the spirits. Those are super fun. And then these art starts. So it is clear sticker paper. So you would just fussy cut this out and it would just blend right into your Bible page. But how fun to then take this as inspiration um, when you go to create your pages. So using those colors, um, maybe, cr you know, creating your own stamps, or maybe you want to use like a toilet paper roll and kind of mush it so that it makes this triangle shape and then stamping the paint. So just really encourages you to get creative and get messy and, you know, explore with some mixed media type things. Okay, and so then here are some more embellishments to go along with those stickers and things. And I think she talks about... Yes, so these are 
Ingrid just is so creative. So these are meant to be like the little stakes that go into plants. So they're just an enlarged version of that. But there's a little QR code down at the bottom here. And it just says, there is a QR code on each large plant tag. If you scan it with your phone, it will give you the Bible verse prayers for that certain fruit of the spirit. So if you, you there's various QR apps that you can download for your phone. Um, and so then you just hold your phone over that QR square and it'll pull up the brilliance of, electronics and how they work, it'll pull up those verses of prayers um, to pray for that specific fruit. I mean, that's just super cool to me. I don't know. Ingrid's very creative. So you've got several of those in there. They're just plain white on the back. They are like a nice thick cardstock. They give you space to write out the, you know, the specific seed, what's it for, a date, and some room to journal, um, and some scripture on there as well. So I mean, look how fun just very unique, very different from some of the other things that's on the market right now. Okay, so lots of those tags. And then you got some little mini tags with the fruits of the spirit on them. How adorable are these? I could even see um, laminating these and actually having them in your plants throughout your house. They've got scripture on them. They've got the fruit on there. I mean, how fun. And it looks like there's multiple of each. So you could journal with them and have them around your house. I love that. I have become a crazy plant lady during quarantine and my plants keep uh, multiplying every time I go to Lowe's. So <laughs> we may find some of these in my plants. I don't know. Self-control, love that. Okay, so there's the look. You'll see that it is a smaller um, kit. It does not come with a stamp set. Uh, let's see, these are Pray This Seeds of Hope, Plant Seeds of Hope, Seeds of Hope. So some little title cards, those are super cute. Um, so it is priced accordingly because it does not have as much as the Seeds of Hope kit does. But there is the Fruit of the Spirit kit. I even save all of her little packaging because she stamps on them and all that goodness. And I use these um, when I'm creating as well. So there is a look at Fruit of the Spirit and Seeds of Hope from Open Journey. If you have any questions or comments, be sure to leave those down below. Check out the description box. Those are affiliate links, just heads up. Um, but I will link to everything and I will try to have a blog post put together as well with close-up photos and color matching. Um, these are very, very colorful kits. So the color matching may or may not be there because it'll be like every color that I own. But we'll see. You can check out the blog post if it's up. Uh, give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to my channel if you're not already subscribed. Stay tuned throughout the month. I've already penciled in. Um, I will be trying to have an open journey video every Monday on my channel. So stay tuned for that. And I will have processes as I work through this. Um, and until next time, thank you so much. Bye-bye.